Well, there's one repository of Englishness, which is the books featuring a character called Thomas Lindley. Yes. Anybody heard of him? In this <laughs> now, why didn't you write about a tough working class cop? Why did you choose an aristocratic copper? Um, well, first of all, I, I didn't really expect to get published. And I was writing mostly for my own entertainment. So if I was going to write for my own entertainment, <coughs> I was definitely going to write about something that I enjoyed writing about. And uh, to me, it was vastly more enjoyable to create a character who had all the trappings of earlishness. You know, he had decided, let's give him a title. Why? Because Americans don't have titles. We don't get titles. This is the one thing Americans love about England. You know, live long enough, do something really good, you get a title. But you know what? We, the only thing that you get is like, you, nobody, I mean, the only peop people who get titles is that if you've been president of the United States for the rest of your life, you are called Mr. President. Actually, you don't have to do anything good to get a title in Britain, do you? <laughs> Necessarily. No, but it helps. It helps. <laughs> anyway, so, that was, that was, that, so that's why Americans are so fascinated. You could be Lord somebody. You could be the Earl of this. You could be the Duke of that. <laughs> This is so cool to us. <laughs> I used to have my students when I was a high school teacher, when I would get really kind of depressed and having a bad day, I would have them call me either Your Grace, <laughs> or <laughs> which they went for in a big way, or Your Majesty. Now, when I had Your Majesty, I had a little crown, a little tin crown I would put on, and I would just say, guys, today it's got to be Your Majesty. And they were great. They'd raise their hands and say, Your Majesty? <laughs> anyway, so, that's, so that is a, uh, you know, another thing that I really liked. So I figured, OK, I'm going to create this character. What the hell? I'm going to give him a title. I didn't know too much about titles in those days. Remember, this is purely for my entertainment. But I liked the idea that George Gordon was comma Lord Byron. Mm -hmm. Loved that my whole life. Mm -hmm. So I thought, I'll have Thomas Lindley comma Lord something. And I didn't know what you had to be to be a Lord something until I did some heavy investigating in the, you know, in the celebrity magazines and discovered that Anthony Armstrong Jones, comma, Lord Snowden was an Earl, the Earl of Snowden. No problem, then I made <laughs> Lindley an Earl. And once he was an Earl, then I just sort of went with it. Like if you're an Earl, what kind of car would you drive? I didn't know any British cars except, except a Rolls Royce or um, a Bentley. Rolls Royce seemed like Two, two, so I gave him a Bentley because I didn't know Bentley was a Rolls Royce with a B on the front. <laughs> you know, so, he, so it took me many, many books to figure out how to wreck that car once I gave it to him. And so that I just kept adding stuff to it. Well, it means he's probably got a country home somewhere. Pff, okay, Cornwall. And, and what's very interesting is that there is, there is an Earl who actually is a policeman. And one of the things that when I first got published in England that uh, my publisher wanted to do, and this is my first publisher, not my current publisher, but one of the things they really wanted me to do was they wanted me to m not make him an Earl. They said, oh, please. I, can't, I wish I could do the accent, but it was really wonderful. They said, no, 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 an Earl. An Earl would never become a policeman. And I said, and they said, couldn't, how about, how about if he wasn't, he didn't know he was going to become an Earl. And I said, well, how would that work? Well, there'd be a train crash or something. <laughs> and everyone would die and he would inherit this. And I said, no, no, I don't want that. He's going to be an Earl. And they, they didn't like it, but what could they do? They went with it. So a few years later, I got um, a, a fax, this was in the days of fax machines, I got this fax from my British editor and it just said, I owe you this. And it was a copy of a newspaper article in London about the Earl of Ross Lynn, who was a policeman, <coughs> who is a policeman. And, uh, and I just thought that was just hilariously funny that there was, I was right, you could indeed be an Earl and be a policeman. <laughs>